Welcome to the Snoop Peek God Crystal Souls and let's meet today your future fiancé. So for this reading we have three pals available. We have pal number one, pal number two and pal number three. Take your time, you can meditate on the cards and then when you're ready, you can find the timestamps on the video directly or down below in the description. If you're not following me on my ASMR channel, I actually invite you to subscribe. I'm gonna link everything down below. Same thing if you want to get a reading with me or a yes or no or my book of answers and I'm gonna use one of them in this reading. So stay tuned for that. And if you guys want to support, you can also gift a super thanks on this video if you are appreciative of my work. Thank you so much for everybody who is supporting me. So let's begin. Let's start group number one and see hints about your future fiancé. So the first card is announcing seduction. So if you're starting to flirt with somebody or if you feel some attraction towards somebody, this is telling you to start flirting with them, seducing them and showing up because this will build the connection here. Because we have the book, of course this could be the next love chapter for the two of you and I have a reading just named like this, but I see this as the next as the next step, what is about to come towards you in between the two of you. But as you can tell, somebody is stepping forward and you can be the one who feels guided to do so. But if not, you might be attracting somebody who is going to make the first step and seduce you and they will want that love story to grow with time. So let's see, I mean, we're talking about your future fiance, so... Perhaps you have this person in your life already. So then we have the Seven of Wands. Let's pick a few more cards and get hints about your future fiancé. Who is this one and what can you expect for you guys' future? So let's see, just moving this up. <laughs> All right. So we have, oh, wow. All right. We have many beautiful cards. We have the Sun. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Cups, which is a card that I associate to actually soulmates coming up together and we could, if we could see the start of that seductive game and this is with somebody that is close to you. With the sun, they will bring you a lot of happiness, they will bring you a lot of excitement as well. If there's somebody that you see as that's the the treasure, this this golden person, the shining person, this could be a sign for you to know that's the one. If they bring you the sun, if they bring you that positivity, if they uplift your mood, this is the one. Because we have the horse appearing, this one is a toy bouncing. It could be a sign that this person is stepping forward, bouncing in your life. And you guys might be encountering quickly or perhaps you know each other quickly. And this could be announcing the next step in that relationship. As for the Three of Cups, I'm seeing this as a reunion or coming together, hanging out a lot, going on dates, having a drink. This is what I can get here. And with the Wheel of Fortune, I mean, like I said, with the Three of Cups as a card that I see for soulmates coming together. Oops, plus this one. This is a sign to me that you're attracting a future fiancé, which is going to be in your soul family. You are destined to be with this person. The wheel announces change as well. And this change, even, you know, the, the way it rocks with the horse, I'm seeing this as like, life is going to change for the better because we have the sun. And this shift is going to bring a lot of excitement, a lot of happiness for the two of you. This is why you love to hang out with each other. Now with the seven of wands, I see that there will be a challenge or possibly something in the beginning that might trigger you or might be, like I said, a bit of a challenge, but this is actually... What shows you if you're really invested? If you're really interested in somebody, nothing and no one can stop you to start that seduction and that flirt with them. And you can see the result is pretty good, so do not miss your chance. Let's see next. I'll pick it up in a second. Leap. 
Maybe this is telling you that the challenge is just a leap of faith. If you felt like I'm not sure, I'm not sure I can trust or I'm not sure I can make the first step in that relationship, this is your sign to do so because you're going to be rewarded if you do that. I mean, can you see the wheel of fortune? So change the game, change your mindset around it and take that leap of faith. We have self-love, so that's something to work on self-love travel and transition perhaps you guys are from the distance and maybe that's the challenge too if there is some physical you know distance between the two of you you will be transitioning traveling to each other but self-love is very important because when you can really you know support yourself accept yourself and celebrate yourself that's when you only welcome positive and uplifting people that's the way to attract the right fiance your way let me pick the other one and then we have idea and concept when i see this card i always associate this one to an artist a thinker someone who is even an avant-garde so you can be attracting this type of person someone who is full of ideas someone who is indeed like the sun and you can see this this youthful essence from your person and this is why you might feel inspired by them too because they cannot stop thinking about the next thing to do, the next project to build, um, what's best for them, what they want to try, perhaps the next trip they want to take with you. So let's see now a couple of cards and get a glimpse of your future together or anything you need to know. I mean, well, <laughs> now we know. It's funny because... With, with the the reading, I said future spells, and then I stopped myself and stay and said, oh wait, this is future fiance. So I, I might have been removing that from the reading, but this is funny because this is announcing actually that you will lead the way towards marriage, the two of you. And is it curable doctor? Could be some spice between the two of you. Oh yes, we do have some spice in rich daddy. So. You're attracting someone who is abundant. Definitely, I'm seeing security in that marriage. And you could see happiness with the sun. And also some seductive game in bed, as you can tell. This is what you can expect with this future fiancé, aka your future spouse. And I also posted a reading about your future spouse portrait. So if you want to check it out, this could be a big plus. So for their personality, I can see someone who is passionate. Maybe that's the passion between the two of you as well that's showing up because we could sense that with the couple of cards. So let's see anything about their person. Someone funny. We like this too. And we could see this with the sun, like someone joyful, fun, creative, expressive, this childlike essence that they have. So you will sense it for sure and you'll find them really, really funny and fun to be around. They might be very good at entertaining yourself. So funny and passionate for the traits. Let's see now what they look like physically. Any things symbolic for the two of you and perhaps on the cards you could see hints already so we have got grunge emo so it could be a style maybe they wear black a lot then we when i just said that all black style i'll show you a clip up in a second just let me let me be the cards tattooed it's funny because when I saw this and then this one, I thought about JK and this illustration reminds me of him. So they could appear as, um, I mean, they could have the same type of style than JK. If you like this style, could be different, of course, because that's a general reading. We have blonde, short hair. So I'll show you these tattooed short hair. If not about them, this could be things they like about you. So take what resonates. And you can see this mystical, beautiful, and unique style. Then grunge, emo, and all black style. And because we can see the... I think that's a police officer. It could be related to their work as well. We have a musician here. I think about beauty... 
with the, um, you know, the way he's holding the, the mirror. Maybe someone traveling for work. And we saw rich daddy. So, of course, I think of a business person. Let's see now with the runes. Any hints about your person? There is mystery, <laughs> as you can tell, with this one. This one's blank. So I guess it's like, you will get hints, but not everything. We have destruction. Perhaps this is why we saw self-love. If you've been seeing yourself, maybe, you know, when you look in the mirror, are these words of love or, or the words you use that are more connected to this? And if so, it's time to change. And then we have protection and fertility. So this person will bring you protection. Fertility can just be about growing old together, building something together, but something that will indeed last in time. I mean, you could see marriage. So of course they want to build with you. If you want to have kids, they might want to have kids as well with fertility showing up. So let's continue with the crate so we can see their zodiac sign. Maybe a placement with their sun sign. Sun, we have water and fire. And for the seasons, we have summer season showing up with the cups. Even the sun to me is that solar, summery season. And then for the ones, this is spring. So it could be when you guys are going to meet. Let's see. Perhaps during a travel too. Oh, we have many. <laughs> All right, so we have Virgo. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Pisces, Aries, and Taurus. Let's continue with letters, with letters and words. So we can see perhaps a name appearing, a place, a word, anything significant. Have, so this one is blank. Big, have, the, follow, so they can be following you. I see John, Run, Moon, No, On, <laughs> I see Horny as well, so I mean you could see that Spice, a passionate person, so yeah, I think it's very connected. <laughs> Nom nom nom. I think of somebody who likes to eat as well. And we talked about this with this one. The fact that you guys will enjoy to go on dates, have a drink outside. Um, maybe actually loving to travel a lot. Like you love to explore. You love to have adventures together. And perhaps you're just expecting to find someone who will make life fun. Like that's, honestly, that's the vibe from the person that you're attracting. So let's see with my book of love answers. And if you want to get your copy, this one is on Amazon. I'm going to link everything down below. Same thing if you want to get a reading with me. So let's see, group number one. Group number one, what's the energy? Maybe a message. It's going to be okay. So this is the reassurance possibly that you needed. Claim this beautiful energy down below in the comments. Subscribe if you're new, of course. You can check my other readings on my channel. I also have a spouse wedding I posted recently. So check it out. And I will see you on my next one. Bye-bye. So group number two, let's start and get hints about your future fiancé. So we have... An announcement so possibly this reading will be announcing something beautiful and you can see she is running to spread the news perhaps you picked this spiral because you feel the urge or you might receive a lot of signs about what you're about to receive or who you're about to encounter because we have the house of course when I saw this card I thought about living together, building a house or maybe living in the same place quite quickly because you'll feel the attraction and you'll feel at home with them, feeling safe with them. And perhaps the announcement if you're dating already, this could be the next step in that relationship if you're not, of course, living together. And you can see there is somebody looking through the window, so I guess you might be one of these. You, maybe you're the one waiting for the announcement or you're the one rushing towards somebody that you love to spread the news. Or perhaps you're just looking at 
what's actually coming to me, what's happening outside my house. So if you're in hermit, this is totally the vibe here. Get out of your house, go and run towards what you want to experience in life. That's the way to attract and manifest all that you want. So yes, I'm seeing this as the next step with all the situations that we saw with the characters. So let's see with the tarot cards. So we have the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the, ooh, the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups. You're attracting true romance and the Ace of Pentacles. Look at this card. You can even see this beautiful rose at the top. And can you see time? The time is right for the two of you to be together. Or this could be telling you time to rush because this person is now available. So you can start this new beginning with someone that you find valuable. So if you do have an attraction towards somebody, you see they are the one. They're your queen. They're your knight. They're the one who inspires you. You have to take that step forward. Rather running towards them. Talking to them. Maybe the window. I think about opening a message. Like a DM or something like that. That's the way to announce yourself. And so this person can see you. And then see, oh, we can build something together. So with the Knight of Swords, I'm seeing someone who is curious about you. They cannot stop thinking about you. If now you're the one who is always thinking about them, you always think about somebody and it's very difficult for you to forget about them, this could be telling you to rush because, and you could see, the time is right, so you can build something with them. If you feel guided, I'm not talking about your ego, I'm talking about your gut feeling. If you feel now it's the right time and this person is the right person for me, I want to give it a chance. Yes, but do not forget about the past. If there is some story before or things happening between the two of you, don't be blinded by your desire to be with this person. Like That's why I'm telling you, trust your gut feeling because your gut is always right. So with the Queen of Wands, I see you attracting someone of value. Someone you see as beautiful, charismatic, and they're very good at expressing themselves. Even the way they appear physically, their voice, style, their hair, maybe makeup. This is something they really put effort into. The way they appear and their image. Maybe their status as well is a status that is quite impressive. Because to me, the queen is showing up as a very powerful figure. And you might feel attracted towards this person because you can see yourself growing with them. Rather, it's a rich person, someone who has a business, someone who might have maybe an influence online. Something like this, I see you attracting this type of person, all right? So don't settle for less. <laughs> then with the Knight of Cups, I see you attracting, or maybe you will be attracting the result as them confessing their feelings to you. The Knight of Cups is this knight of running armor. They're ready to, to step forward. They're ready to build something with you. And they cannot wait. They cannot wait to be expressing their love to you. That's why I'm saying that you might... Of a situation going on that will lead towards someone that you admire, that you cannot stop thinking about, and they do the same, like they cannot stop thinking about you, and they just want to have an opportunity to be with you. Because the Page of Cups to me is that opportunity, but they're not stressing themselves with how to make it happen. They will know and they will receive the signs as well. So then they will understand now. And I'm going to pick this one again. Now the time is right for me to show up and to give myself an opportunity to confess my feelings so we can be together. But yet again, at divine timing. So let's pick the other decks. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> it's funny because this the first group, actually, I'm going to show you. The first group was seduction, the first card. So if you felt called to listen to these two piles, they can be connected. Okay, so we have seduction for you as well. And you cannot wait possibly to start flirting with them, to spend time with them. 
and to play that game of seduction, something flirting, going on dates. We Again, I'm not surprised because we saw someone who is powerful, we saw somebody who is valuable, so they will be abundant. Abundance doesn't have to be just materially. They have enough to give to you. They are abundant of love as well. And you can see that with the roses, flowers, blooming. And then with emergence, they're stepping forward. They're showing up to be with you. Or perhaps this is telling you to emerge. This is telling you to get out of your comfort zone or your house so then you can be with them. Like I said, if you're the hermit, and I feel you guys, <laughs> you, you will need to step forward. You will need to step out because that's the way to be together and they will want to meet you physically. I Maybe in the beginning you guys will be opening up online but yet, I see that if you want to make it work, you have to show up to the person as someone who is ready to build with them in the physical. So let's see a couple cards for you. Well, it's good to see because if you're the hermit, you might want to stay at home and they will actually love to stay at home too. So home-cooked meal is the first card. You guys will love to actually enjoy meals together or enjoy going to restaurant again uh, seduction <laughs> seduction and romantic i mean you could see two times that seduction that seduction um and i guess that is going to be big and this might be lasting with time you know it's not just about flirting in the beginning and then forgetting about that no they will put effort the long-term effort to win you because they are a romantic. They want to make sure that you're provided, that you're surprised and that you feel grateful to have this person. They might love to cook or might bring food at home when you guys will live together. I mean, that's beautiful. <laughs> Let's see now some traits. What are their personality? Loving. And I can say already seductive because we had many, you know, and romantic too. Understanding. Let's pick another one from this deck. Well, I guess three. Uh, okay, so generous. Jealous. Okay, that's something to be aware of. I guess this is connected. When they're jealous or when something is bothering them, they can be appearing very cold. And I think that's because they are emotional beings. So they want to be treated like a queen or like a king. They want you to be generous back. That's what I'm getting here. So it's not something too crazy, but that's something to be aware of. Jealous, cold, generous. And loving. And of course, understanding. And these could be scenes, of course, for example, in the morning kissing, having a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. All right, so let's continue with physical traits so we can see what they look like physically. Of course, the cards could show you already hints. Even, for example, the hair color, the style, um, what they can be doing, anything like this. So let's see, we have fit, glasses, contacts, fantasy. So fit of course can be their body type or this could be a fit that's more athletic. Like for example, their style can be a bit more athletic and sporty. Fantasy and they can be wearing glasses or contacts. Uh, place them right there. Let's pick these two freckles and brown hair. And because he is holding the camera, perhaps they can be working in a field where they maybe create content, take pictures, or be creative, or maybe that's a hobby, it doesn't have to be their work. Freckles. Okay, so let's continue with the runes. We have luck and we have flow. Luck, flow and again abundance. <laughs> and we can see that, yes, your person is going to be 
abundant and we saw generous too so they have a lot more than enough and you might feel lucky to have someone who is stable financially let's pick next the grid so we can see their zodiac sign so far for the cards we have fire water and air signs for the seasons because they can be associated to seasons too summer uh, spring and winter and we could see winter with the the snow appearing here so there can be seasons when you guys will be together or perhaps when you guys will be meeting or when you have met perhaps so let's see there's a zodiac sign so we have libra cancer taurus aries and aquarius let's pick next letters and words so we can see perhaps a name appearing a place anything you need to know let's see so this one is blank we have la could be a place jar a lasting relationship we have Sagittarius and cancer again play kiss and help so these are the hints a relationship too rate oh rare that's beautiful I had large. That's pretty much what I can see here. So let's pick next my book of love answers. And if you want to get a copy, you can find everything linked down below. Same thing if you want to get a reading with me, you can find everything in the description. So let's see group number two. What's the guidance? Maybe a message from your future spouse stop playing with my heart <laughs> so that's the message guys i hope you like this reading if you do give it a big thumbs up claim this energy in the comments down below you can also check my other readings on my channel and i will see you guys on my next one bye, -bye. so group number three let's start and get hints about your future fiance so we have two cards for you guys from this deck we have dance with me and wishes come true so if you've been wishing a bonus star to manifest your future spouse your future fiance to manifest the next step in a relationship or if you just want to find the one this is what i see you attracting because she is a kid here perhaps ask yourself what were you looking for as a child what were you valuing as a child because that is the love story i see you attracting and when you look at these two lovebirds on the flower i see this as a scene from like a fairy tale perhaps a disney movie so maybe the one the disney movie or a fairy a fairy tale that you liked as a kid is the one that will come true for you so make sure to put faith into that wish so you can manifest it quick but i see the two of you finding each other quickly let's see now hints about this person with the tower cards <laughs> let's see <laughs> it's funny because we just talked about kids and we have kids appearing here so if not about you, of course, you guys can be conceiving and having a family together. But yet again, I think about what you used to like, what you used to enjoy as a kid, perhaps even games, things you used to do, places you used to visit. And you guys can be going to these places or do these things together. So six of cups and we have the strength. Let's pick one more card. We have many actually. I'll take these. The Chariot, the World, and Judgment. Very powerful cards that you have. I mean, look at that. So I'm going to start with this one because we just talked about actually your dreams as a kid and the type of love story you want to be attracting. And this is a card that connects to actually soulmates and people that we've met in other lifetimes. So perhaps you are craving for somebody that you know is available or that's waiting for you because you feel within you 
it is about to manifest. And yes, because your wishes will come true. So this reading might just be your sign to be trusting that everything is aligning for you. And everything you wish upon the star is now being attracted to completion because the world card talks about accomplishment, completion, or finding the right match that completes you. And trust me, you're attracting this. Someone who is strong and your angels and your guides are announcing this person stepping forward. So if you receive a lot of signs, numbers everywhere, like angel numbers, 111, 222, 777, you know, these things, check what they mean because they are communicating something to you. So for the numbers I see, six, actually six in tarot is the lover's card. So I'm seeing true love and we have number eight, which is the infinite sign as well. You can be attracting a soulmate or someone that is destined to be with you. Yes, um, then we have seven again. I mean, I, no, not again, but seven. And I talked about seven, seven, seven. So that's why I said it. Um, so seven connects to luck. It connects to spirituality. It connects to actually you manifesting what you want, but also this connects to good fortune. So this is really nice to see. The chariot card is a card about action, direction, knowing where you're heading so you can get victory in the end. So maybe that's a combo message telling you be strong, be confident, because that's the way to become so attractive that you then attract all that you wish for with the person that you know is your destiny, that you know is going to complete you and satisfy you when you will start to date. That's why you dance with each other, you welcome each other, you celebrate each other. And you can see these two are having fun. And this could be the feeling when you meet this person, having fun, feeling comfortable, enjoying this time, and actually knowing this bond that we have is strong. It's like the loop. And we talked about the infinite sign, which is a loop. A loop that is unbreakable, so strong that nothing can separate the two of you, even this physical reality. This is why you know and you feel the calling to be with this person, to start building, so then you can find the right people. And I'm seeing you finding your tribe, finding your community, maybe that's about your friends, soul family, and this will make you two even more empowered. And like the chariot card was announcing, this is bringing you success, recognition, and, and perhaps do you feel guided towards a path, a purpose or something like career-wise that will put you in a position where you will become popular. If not about you, this could be about them. I'm saying this because I see community, community, I see you having a world impact, wishes coming true, so this is about your dreams, of course, and I see with the chariot, she is victorious, she is shining, she is in a position where she is celebrated, I'm saying she, but this can be a he or whatever, all right, but I'm saying this as possibly you two status or what will be happening in, in the future between the two of you. So I'm getting power couple vibes, feeling that strong pull attraction because you are indeed destined to be. <laughs> so let's see next more traits about your person evolution. I just talked about this. Fame. So that is confirming what I said. You two or one of you will be evolving, growing so beautifully that you'll find fame with what you're doing because he's holding the phone. Of course, this could be how you guys will become famous through the phone. Social media is what I think about. Maybe modeling, picture-related stuff. And thanks to your originality, thanks to your skills, your talent, and I'm saying richness, so then you guys can become rich. I would not be surprised if you guys will be meeting through the phone, rather a meeting up, social media, through maybe the content that you, that you create. 
And maybe that's a sign to encourage yourself to keep on posting, to keep on being original, to keep on evolving because that's the way to attract your future spouse or that's the way to build a strong bond with your future spouse. If you, I mean future spouse, future fiance, I mean, I mean, maybe future spouse in the end. I mean, that's the goal, right? So that, that's what you can get on the cards. You are attracting someone special for sure. And everything that you wish for, you'll find in this person. But also the future I see for the two of you is going to be exciting, is going to be fun, is going to be entertaining and full of rewards, blessings and success. We have boss. So maybe you guys will want to become independent and build something. Becoming a boss. We, or maybe they are boss already. <laughs> then we have spicy. So we have passion, attraction, flirty game, spicy game. Someone who is on duty. It makes sense because I'm really seeing you two as a power couple. I'm seeing the two of you being quite independent, strong, confident as well. So that makes sense why they want to be on duty, why they want to be in charge. Spicy on duty and boss. Let's continue and see traits about their personality, who they are as a person. We have rich. Well, <laughs> we saw that too. So this is perfect, perfectly fitting. As you can tell, if this is collaborating jesus um so richness and now you can see rich so you are indeed attracting someone who is going to have enough to give to you materially and because we could see the fame status it makes sense so let's pick a few more devoted and I can see that with on duty as well. And we saw spicy, horny, makes sense too. <laughs> so these are the traits. Someone rich, devoted and yeah, feeling that spice already with you. And you, you can feel the same. Like when you meet this person, you're going to have these fantasies, these dreams, these thoughts that can be, yes, indeed spicy. And by the way, if you guys want to get a spicy reading, I do them. I don't post them anymore on this channel because, eh, because it's difficult to post them. <laughs> anyway, so if you want to get one, you can book a reading with me down below. So for the physical traits, we have someone with green eyes. Let's pick a few more and I'll show you a close up in a second. Okay, so green eyes. Baby face, if not about them, of course, this could be about you. Things they like about you. We have a deep voice. <laughs> a deep voice. And pay attention to the looks on the cards too, because that can be significant. Deep voice, green eyes, baby face, hazel eyes, and preppy style. So these are the physical traits for person or for you maybe maybe that's about you let's pick now the runes oh we have magic dreams manifestation divine union you guys are just hitting the jackpot i'm not gonna lie to you and we said 777 so yes you are it's something else this group is something else i have to admit and you might know and you might feel yes of course i'm ready for that divine love so I am manifesting and I'm finding magic, all that I dream about, I manifest. So this divine union is happening for a reason and you might feel just super ready for this. You might just actually be excited and impatient to experience that with your person. Congrats. <laughs> so let's see next their zodiac sign. For the cards we had water, cancer, Leo, that's about it. And for the seasons, so of course Leo, Cancer and Summer, which is all targeting <laughs> Summer, at least from a friend's perspective, because I know that for Australia, it's going to be winter. 
so let's oops, well let's see their zodiac sign so of course there's a plus we have pisces sagittarius scorpio and libra let's see next with letters and words perhaps a name appearing a place something significant for you So rich, gentle, from heart, funny. So there could be a funny person. We have Virgo. I think of Dutchland. So Germany could be a place or origin. Mm -hmm. I see durée in French, which means something that will last, you know, or something, yes, that will evolve with time. What else? Lasting relationship is what I heard, so it connects. I see game in French. So it could be someone who likes to play games, doctor. Hmm, that's, oh, road. Perhaps you can see like an address. Or if you've been seeing an address, a place, maybe in Europe, could be significant. The journey. Jure. In French, it's like, promise me. Like, promise me or be honest. That's pretty much what I can see for this technique. So let's move on and pick the book of love answer so we can see perhaps a name, some guidance for you guys. If you want to get your copy, it's going to be linked down below. Same thing if you want to get a reading with me, maybe a spicy one. You choose. I do every type of reading, of course, career, love, etc. So let's see. Group number three. And if you're watching this from Bilibili, I also provide my services. So same thing, it's going to be linked in the description. All right, stop, stop resisting me is the message you needed to receive from this person. I hope you will like this reading. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. Claim this energy down below in the comments. Subscribe if you're new, of course. You can check my other readings appearing on the screen. And I will see you guys on my next one.